hi and welcome to another video with the recent visits to germany and france i also bought of course french candy no this is german candy and french candy on snapchat i asked you guys which candy tasting video you wanted to see first and you chose france so let's do this it's been a while so i have no idea what i bought so let's just start off with these things bonbons oh good the pain. Judging from my limited French that these are um, sweets or candy with pine flavor, which I don't think I have ever tasted before, man. They also look like little pines. Oh, they're so cute, man. Okay. Thank you. This is weird. There's also something minty in it. This is a very <laughs> weird flavor. It's pine. It's definitely pine, but... I'm not used to eating this. The Frenchman with their exquisite flavors. No, this is not something I would buy again. I would have to give it, you know what? The flavor is good, so it's it's not a bad flavor, but it's just something that I don't like. So I think I'm gonna give this a six for the experience because it's an experience for sure. You have to try this. I have enough time to eat this whole candy thingy you guys know i always listen to your feedback so i also got a little bit more savory snacks than last time this time i got this mini shoe good chèvre et poivre <laughs> so i think these are just like goat cheese and pepper puffs which sounds really good i love goat cheese i love puffs by the way it is now 9 a.m in the morning and i haven't had breakfast Ooh. This looks good, man. It's super crunchy. The goat cheese is amazeballs. It's just a little bit too much crunch, I guess, for me. How can things be too crunchy? I don't know. It just, it doesn't really match with the goat cheese. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I would give this um, a six. The next thing I'm gonna try are these Lu cookies. And of course, Petit Ecolier is quite a famous cookie it's like a butter cookie with chocolate on top but this one it's quite special it also has like a milk cream in it tendre coeur so a soft heart i, I can understand a little bit of french it's just, what oh it's like bars oh i did not expect that i thought it was really really like the petit écolier cookies i'm expecting something like a kinder bar on top of a cookie mm -hmm. The cookie tastes a little bit old. Maybe because of the goat cheese puffs I had before this one. The, the flavor was still in my mouth. Mm. It's good. And I definitely think the tendre coeur, so the milk cream in the chocolate adds a new dimension. But it's not as good as I expected it to be. So I would give it a 7. And we have another savory snack. See, I do listen to you guys. So these are petite crêpe fourrée. Something crap crap. And a compte au saveur noir. So noir um, means nuts, but I see cheese on the packaging too. So I don't know if it's like a cheese with a little bit of a nutty flavor. It looks a little bit like cat food. <laughs> we have these whiskas, whiskas, little, I don't know, like a little crunchy cat food. It looks like that. Mmm. Whoa. This is a heavy cheese flavor. Wow. Woo. In contrast to the goat cheese puffs, these little mini crepes, I really like the, the outside. It's super thin and super crispy. Love it. But the cheese, it is, it is very heavy. So I don't think I like this. <laughs> I found a snack that's too cheesy for me. And I love cheese. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to give this one a five. I don't like this one, it's too cheesy for me. What the F? Franz, you out cheesed me. <laughs> In case this is the first video you're watching, there is also a Dutch Girl Tries French Snacks part one. And in that video, I tried, I tried. <laughs> I tried, <laughs> what is wrong with me? I tried the Karamar candy with lots of different flavors, Papa Papa as well. But 
You guys told me I ate it wrong. So the French people, you said I need to suck on it and not try to chew it. So I bought another bag and it's the Carambars are getting a rematch. This is by the way, the caramel flavor, the original flavor it says. So, hey baby, you're making me buy Carambar again. And it needs to taste good. These are a lot bigger than the ones I had last time, by the way. But I think because the other ones were like mixed flavors in a bag. Okay, I'm going to suck it. There we go. Karambars the rematch. The caramel flavor is really good. Yeah, sucking is better. It definitely works better. Mm. Can't chew it. I want to chew it, damn it. I can't chew it. I really like this. I would give this an eight because the caramel flavor is really good. It has like a little hint of coffee flavor as well. Mm -hmm. And when you suck it, it's like a, like a little bit soft lollipop. Yeah, that's good. I like this. Another savory snack. Yep, that's right. Another savory snack. So these are croustillant, croustillant a la cacahuete. So with peanuts, some kind of crisps with peanuts. Let me try this. Ooh, they look like little swirlies. Tastes very, oh, taste. They smell very peanutty. Yeah, that's good, man. Mm, mm, mm. They're a little bit more crunchy than regular peanut flips. I would give this a nine. I can eat this whole bag in one go. Love it. Well, actually, I never eat a bag in one go, but I would eat this a lot. Mm, mm. If you like this video and you would like to see more of my videos, click that subscribe button because then you can also travel along. I usually make travel vlogs and take food with me from everywhere around the world and make these tasting videos. If you like the video, you can also put a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Bye.